cooking apa? Hi, this is cooking apa? Today, apa is going to make sambal belacan um, for my tonight's dinner. Because tonight's dinner, I'm going to make a fu kui mian, which they usually will put some sambal belacan. But of course, this sambal belacan uh, is definitely this amount I'm doing here can definitely last me for one whole week. Yeah? Okay, so let's take a look at the ingredients. It's actually very easy. This is one of the national dish in Malaysia. It's more like a dipping sauce, but sometimes it is so good that you can eat it by, all by itself and then dip it using some raw uh, veggie also. Nice, fresh veggie, nice. So let's take a look at a simple ingredient here. Uh, I have two pieces of big chili. Okay, this is more not for the spiciness, but to give it some extra flavor, uh, chili flavor. What really gives it the spiciness is actually the chili padi here, the red chili padi and also the green chili padi. So approximately about 10-15 uh, each. Huh? It really depends on how spicy you like. If you don't want it to be spicy, then you increase the, the amount of uh, big red chili. All right. Mm, and then what else? I have two cloves of uh, garlic, uh, two pieces of shallot, and also this is the calamansi slice. Yeah. One piece of calamansi slice. And what else? This is about five pieces of uh, calamansi juice. Squeeze out the juice, yeah? Uh, four to five pieces. And then this is a uh, toasted blachan, yeah? This is the toasted blachan, about one to two tablespoons, up to you. And this is approximately two tablespoons of palm sugar. You can use brown sugar, you can use white sugar, no problem. One to two tablespoons, adjust it yourself. And we will need some salt for sure and we will need a bit of oil. Why oil? Because today I want to make it a creamier version. Remember to click subscribe and notification button for more APA's video. Okay, you get ready a mini chopper or blender. This is my new toy. <laughs> so I'm putting in the chili. We can actually uh, do it in two times. If we can't fit everything inside, let me try. My big chili is real huge. Taking a lot of space. Can I fit everything in? Oh, no problem. Okay. We have the calamansi juice. You can use lime juice also. Or no. Maybe even lemon. And this is uh, the palm sugar. The toasted blachan. Some salt. Then we close it. On it. Okay. It's already blended. Now I'm going to add some oil to make it even creamier. Look at this, this is why I bought this particular <laughs> blender. I can put the oil here and the oil can actually go inside like that. And you'll be able to see it's getting creamier and creamier from outside. Wow, impressive, right? <laughs> All the ingredients that I use for equipment, I will put it inside. I will actually put it inside the description, the video description, so don't worry. Uh, if you want it faster. Okay, done. This will be a lot more fine. Wow, so fragrant.
let me show you this is how easy to make sambal blajan at home oh look at how creamy it is some people will make it a watery way right? no problem up to you but today i purposely want to make it the creamier ones the creamier version very thick Alright, so here's my uh, Samba Blachan today. If you like my video, do share my video on your Facebook to your friends. Come to Cooking Up Our Facebook fan page to click like and follow button. Follow up on Instagram and subscribe to Cooking Up Our YouTube channel. And not forgetting, not forgetting my TikTok. Alright, enjoy your dinner with your family. Bye-bye.